What's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite little passing concepts out of the five wide in the Steelers playbook in Madden 21. What's going on guys? Cody here and I just want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel focuses on helping people become the best Madden players that they can become. So if you want to get better at this game, I would encourage you to click that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to do that and it just allows you to be able to get up to date on the latest tips and strategies that I have right here on my YouTube channel. Now in this video, we're gonna be going over just one of my favorite base passing concepts. I absolutely love this concept against pretty much every defense in the game. And that is the bench corner out of the empty tray stack. And like I said, I'm in the Steelers playbook. If you've not been watching uh, my channel for too long, or maybe you've missed some of the series, we've been doing a series basically breaking down this five wide formation. And if you wanna get my full gun empty tray stack, or basically it's, it's also combining some other concepts out of the Steelers playbook. Um, but I'm putting everything in my true fan membership. So if you've not already uh, joined the true fan membership, it is literally just five bucks a month and it's going to continue all the way throughout Madden 22. And basically what we do is every single week we sit down and we give you a, a uh, an offensive meta update, uh, a defensive meta update, and a pro player breakdown. So every week you're kind of getting the best of the latest tips and strategies that I'm using uh, in my own arsenal. So this is a, the offense that I'm running right now. It's a lot of fun. And if you want to learn how I'm running it, then just go over, grab the TrueFed membership. It's just five bucks a month. You can cancel it at any time. And uh, I'm going to leave a link to that in the description of the video. Okay, guys, so bench corner is the play. And what we're going to do here is really, really simple. It's not a ton of um, complexity to this. But there's a couple situations, and there's a lot you can do with these plays. One of the things that people don't understand is they, they kind of, when they, when they play Madden, they think they have to run the play the same every time and they lose some creative freedom. So for example, if I were to set up a concept, the way I look at the field now is I divide the field in half. So on the left side of the field, I'm running a two-man concept. On the right side of the field, I'm running a three-man concept. That's personally why I like five wide. I basically have trips tied in to the right side, and then on the left side, I have like either gun doubles or gun tight doubles or whatever, gun stack. So I can do two different things is what I'm getting at, okay? A three-man and a two-man concept. Um, so for that that being said, um, this route to Rimkowski has been one of the best routes all year. We're just going to smart route, and as you see, it's going to become a slant out route. Now, the next thing that I absolutely love to do with this play is I actually like to take the circle receiver, put him on a vertical, and then you're going to see that I'm going to motion in this R1, and I'm going to put him on a hitch. And then when I snap the ball, I'm just going to motion him out and snap right on the numbers, just like this right here. And what you're going to see is he's going to hold the zones, and it's going to leave Gronkowski wide open on the outside. My zone drops are set to 30 yards, 10 yards, and 10 yards, which means my flat zones are as deep as they can possibly be. Uh, my curl flat zones are pretty deep for traditional curl flats, and they're still not going to be able to get out there. So again, it's really simple. All I'm doing is a little motion snap. Now, let me just show you it without the motion snap. I don't think you have to do the motion snap. Um, you see here, you don't have to. The reason that I like to uh, do it is because it gets this um, this flat zone. Uh, so if you take a look at this flat zone, what it does, and you can do two different versions of it. I'm gonna show you two different versions of the snap. But what it does is I have found that uh, when people are running cover three, which is what you're gonna get a lot out of this look, the flat zone is the zone that you need to manipulate. So when I motion this guy in, I'm bringing that flat zone really in tight, just like this, and you see that he's gonna sit inside. That time he didn't sit as much, but it brings him inside of the field. He doesn't have as much outside leverage to be able to make a play on the ball. So that's kind of been my little strategy uh, with this. And, and the reason why I like to motion him back out is because I can still get a little bit of outside leverage. Basically my theory is that if I can get outside of the slot, you'll see here, just get a little bit outside, just like that right there. He's gonna sit just like he did. And now I can throw this ball to the tight end. So that's my theory on uh, how to manipulate cloud flats. Um, how to manipulate zone drops in general. Uh, if they do a purple zone, it'll basically be exactly the same. Uh, purple zones don't drop as deep to the outside anyway. They have to use flats, and when you manipulate the flat, 
like I just did, then you see what happens. Now, another way that you can run this same concept is by doing this right here. You can streak R1, um, and then typically what I'll do is I'll bring him inside uh, when I streak him, and then I have an out route right there on that outside. So now I've got kind of a quick read. The one thing I don't, I mean, this still will kill, and I got thrown a sack there. You're still going to get a lot of separation against the cover three. The one thing I don't like is that you don't have as quick of a read. Um, but this is a lot better if they're running, like, quarters. Um, so you'll see here I'm going to put fade him or put him on a, a streak or a fade. It's up to you. Um, typically it'll be a fade for me. And then you get this little compression look. Now you'll see the X um, still gets wide open on the outside, but I would tell you that um, it can be a little more, it can be a little, just a little bit more dicey. Now if you want to run traditional trips tied in, uh, where we run this traditional three-man concept on the right where we have this concept right here, you can do this as well. This is a great way to beat um, match defense, but look at how that flat is now more in the field on that X. So that's the trade-off. Um, that really is truly the trade-off. So um, anyways, that corner route's a lot of fun. It's really good. Um, now let's say that they go cover two on you. Uh, let's just say they go cover two. This is why I like to put the circle receiver on either a streak or a fade, because if they go cover, if they go cover two, you'll see it's gonna look something like this. And now look at all this all this room. I pass through that to the outside, and I click on it, and they got the vertical route. So they can't run cover two. They can't run cover three. They really can't run cover four either. Let me show you cover four, because if they run cover four, it's basically going to function effectively like cover three. The biggest difference is that a cover four is going to have an additional person in the deep blue uh, range of the field. But it's not going to change the fact that this little fade to the circle receiver is going to pull all the zones and we're going to throw right in underneath it in that little pocket so that's the three man corner uh corner concept you can call this this is a variation of y corner it's it's it's, it's similar more it's probably better um and more similar to sale uh kind of to a sale concept but that's kind of the idea of what we're doing there now i didn't spend a ton of time on this uh, yet in this video, but I do want to break down the hitch um, because when you motion the hitch back outside, the purple zone will sit on it. But if you watch where it sits, the yellow zone is kind of not there and the purple zone is kind of over it. So that's another thing that I like. They got to bring zones down to cover this hitch and they just aren't going to do that. If they do that, they leave themselves so vulnerable to other things and other concepts that we can run from this offense. So that is why I love that hitch route as my check down, especially if my opponent is primarily running zone coverage. Now, uh, what I like to do on this left side is, and you can do two things. There's, I mean, there's a couple things you can do, but really this left side is kind of my hot read. So if I, I'm always looking at the left side early, and if their user is not over there, I'm throwing this little C route right there, okay? Now, understand, what we want to force uh, is this right here. If their user's over here, then I probably won't work that concept as much. Um, I'll probably do something a little bit different. But if their user's over here, it's a lot more likely for me to work that concept. So if their user's over in this pocket right here, then what I would do, nothing changes for me. Um, it's just the more than likely he's not gonna be open. So I'll still look his way but I'm not anticipating that he's gonna be open. So look, oh, he's not open. But then I look to triangle, and triangle is a really good route specifically for when people want to run the seam flat zone. Seam flat zones are the most popular way people like to run their purple zones this year, and most people don't understand why. The reason why is because the seam flat zone will do a decent job on curl routes. It will also do a really good job on like slant routes and kind of almost play the inside and out. Whereas the curl flat is always gonna play the outside. The reason this is significant is because as you can see, because he's in a seam flat zone, he's not getting outside enough. He's not playing to the outside enough. So I can easily just work that concept over and over and over again if they're in a seam flat coverage. So what it forces is you'll see here, now I'm gonna put him in a curl flat. He's gonna play it a little bit better on this two man concept, but as you can see, we're still able to hit this, okay? So when they're in these, these, um, these purple zones, they, they can't play that. They can't play purple zones on this on this side of the field. 
Um, they just can't do it. Mabel coverage does not work with this out route. This little quick five yard out route looks so, and I threw it way too early there. It does not look like much, but what it does is it forces, again, similar to the hitch, it's gonna force these underneath concepts and underneath zones to have to be played. Now I'm gonna give you another concept off of this that you can use in just a second. But again, look, just see this little speed cut out and you're just getting the ball to the outside as soon as you can. Um, once the window opens up, you have to wait for the window to open up. It's super important. But look at this triangle, cuts the outside, easy read, dot. Okay, so now, once they, if they start to over pursue to that, one of the ways that they can over pursue to that uh, would be to lower their cloud flats and play Tampa 2. It would also be, um, you know, maybe they just play Tampa 2 uh, on that side. So maybe you get something like this, like a cover 3 cloud almost. Um, and then you've got Mabel coverage across your board. Well, now what I like to do is basically the same concept on both sides of the field. And we're going to turn this into smash. So I'm going to take triangle and put him on a hitch route just like this. And now I've got the same motion snap. But what you're going to notice is a hitch in combination with a C route is a really dangerous combination. You'll see both routes will be open every single time. I've done videos on this on my channel talking about two-man smash concepts to the short side of the field. And that's basically what we're creating. We're creating a two-man smash concept to the left side of the field. So their user has to sit on one of the hitches. One of these two hitches is gonna be open. Um, more than likely, he's gonna sit on the left one just from experience, um, but you're gonna see that. And then if they sit on the hitch, now watch this square receiver passing down and away, and look at that, you're beating Mabel coverage on both sides. So this is my favorite play of the game if somebody's running Mabel coverage. Favorite play of the game, why? Because I can attack outside of where the user's at and really manipulate these zone coverages a ton. So this is really a great play. Uh, one more time, I want to go over this. Um, I'm going to just switch over to cover two here for just a second. I want to show you what it looks like to have a vert hook uh, on this hitch. Uh, so this vert hook, because that hitch is outside the numbers, you're going to see that he's in a really unique little position. And you can actually, again, really important understanding. We talk about um, when I teach on zone coverage, I talk a lot about uh, grids. I learned this from AntCap24. I think he's one of the best and most consistent offensive minds in the game. Um, and his channel is huddle.gg, I believe. But basically what he talks about, and really where I started to understand this, is when he's talking about this idea that Madden has grids. So a yellow zone has a grid. The vert hook being the most outbreaking yellow zone, it has a grid at which it's going to be effective. So what that means for your offense is as you're trying to put together a plan to attack a vertical hook, you really want to focus on, in my opinion, short side outside the numbers. Short side outside the numbers. It's why the out route is so good, but it's also why you'll see here, if he's on a hitch, I can throw it to the left, and then he can't. he's not going to animate toward it. As long as I have Gunslinger or a pass lead elite ability, and I can get that ball out to the left side, there's nowhere for him to come into play uh, with that. So that is this play. If you get a man read, we haven't talked a lot about man coverage. Um, if you do happen to get man coverage, you're gonna have a lot of options. Um, really, the biggest thing is just work this left side. Um, the C route typically will beat man um, to the outside. The out route will also beat man. And the other thing is the hitch will also beat man. So let's say you get something like this. Uh, you throw a hitch out there, watch the C route. Snap throw against man coverage. Easy read, you know, and again, that's in your progression. You're looking there first anyway. Um, you know, your out route to the, or your corner route to the tight end will occasionally beat man to man, -to -man coverage. Um, but I would tell you that if you're in regs, it's not going to beat it as well as if you're in mutt. But now you'll see here again, watch the C route pass to the outside. I'm throwing it a little bit. Evans doesn't have the route running, but I'm throwing it a little bit off. But anyways, um, that's shaded down, man. Now if it's shaded up man coverage, um, your motion hitch will be really good. So uh, shaded up man to man, most popular people are going to run it. But watch this, you're just low balling it every time, real consistent, three to five yards. You're not going to call this against man. You do have three or four ways to beat it. The, the corner route, the two routes on the left, and the hitch. Um, but you do have some options. But you're not. This isn't your primary man beater in this formation. So, anyways, thanks for watching. If you want to learn the rest of the five wide receiver Steeler offense. Be sure to join my true fan membership down in the description. It's just five bucks a month, and uh, we've already posted that scheme over there for you. So if you want to get a, get a jump start on it, it's it's available to you. Again, uh, five bucks a month, and that link is in the description. You can cancel it anytime if you want.